Race. Let's get it until we have a good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. here with the man from Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two, the best one. And uh, I have a question. I don't know if you've ever gone this before, or if this is even true. But I heard Robert England say he believed the whole story of a Nightmare on Elm Street series about a boy struggling with his homosexuality. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that? Because I watched it again, I was like, that makes sense actually. <coughs> Sorry. That made me show. Um, the movie was written by David Chaskin as a, as a game movie. And for many, many years, he denied that he had written the movie as such. He wrote this movie directly the way that it is on the, on the, on the, uh, on the screen. Mm -hmm. And he denied it for 30 years. And then when I came back to Never Sleep Again, and I said, you know, basically, David, you're a liar. Uh, my friends worked on the, the crew, and they knew you were rewriting the film this way. And so they had to bring him back in to Never Sleep Again, and that's where he talks about it. And finally, if Matt say yes, he did write it, it's a gay movie. A lot of people think that it's about Jesse's self-hate, but I have to tell you, I played Jesse, and Jesse didn't hate himself. And if there was a real homo in the movie, you can get right down to it, get ready to throw the bricks at me. The really big homo in the movie is actually Freddy. Freddy's the one that's chasing Jesse. Jesse's not ch ch chasing Freddy. If you notice the way Jess, uh, Freddy treats all the girls, he's like vicious with Nancy. He's vicious with all the girls, but with me, he's very tender. Like in the scene where he puts his hand on my face, like, uh -huh. he looks into my eyes very deeply. Right. So uh, those are all choices. And how, how does he kill Johnny Depp in a bed? That's right. And in Nightmare on Elm Street 2, he only kills boys. And he specifically only kills boys that are interested in me. We're going to do a Q&A after this film. We're showing Nightmare on Elm Street 2 right now here in uh, Chicago. And we're going to do a question and answer. And we talk about this a lot. So it's, uh, it's you know, funny enough, it's now that when I go into a Q&A, anywhere in the world, the very first question that people ask me is, is this a gay movie? I'm like really proud to represent Jesse. I'm like, you know, I'm gay myself. I'm really proudly so. And uh, and I came back and I traveled the world just to save his reputation because I love him. I thought this was a unique question, so yeah. yeah. It is. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what? You're brave to ask it, and it's like, and you're, and now you go and tell the story to everybody because it's a good one. Now you know. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much. You're welcome.